Uh, okay, back to the old sonar. Ah, we have him on the bow. Very good. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's big. That is big. What is that? What is that? That thing is big. That was a big return on my sonar, man. I don't... Uh, here, let's turn. Let's turn a little bit. Rotor right, steer course two. Ooh, six, uh, five, yeah, because I want to get these guys nine. back on my arrays and shit. All right, but okay, so we do this. We can assign a tracker, and now we can go to the demon and put the tracker on here. And then let's look at our reference for the Vishnaya. Ruski, on Ruski. TPK 12. Oh, ambitious. I was thinking go faster than 16 knots. Oh, he's speeding up a little bit. Oh, hurry up with the click. Oh, what? I lost it. Why did that? Oh, auto crew. Get out of here, you fuck. Tracker assign. Very good. Auto crew wants to fuck with you. 12. We have a speed of 16. Oh, he is flanking it. 16 knots on Master 1. Select the track on Master 1. Speed. Auto crew, you're fuck yourself. Speed 16. Oh my god. 16 knots speed. Alright, so I want this. Uh, in the last video, I noticed I was messing up when I was um doing the TMA. You want to make sure that your. Um, that your first thing is lined up because that's the most recent data point. So we're gonna make sure that's actually on a line. Uh, we have a new new line here. Okay, this flank speed thing might be recent memory kind of thing. Let's enter the solution. Steer course two, six, it might be five. that close. I don't, know. I don't know. But he's turning along. He can't hear me for shit. But what is this? Who is that? Sierra three. Gosh, that was a, another thing there. Alright, auto crew yourself. The layer is at 168 meters. How deep is it here? Alright, we can do a little bit of layer cru uh, cruising under the layer, but not for long. So let's go to 178 meters. Go to depth one, seven, eight. Yeah, we can't stay on here for long. We're running out of ocean. Uh, navigate, resume, zero. waypoint, follow. Seven. Designated Sierra. One. So these tracks should all disappear. They should not be on my sonar anymore. Yep, very good. See, that's a good old layer for you. I can't hear them, but they can't hear me, so... I'm gonna have to watch this ocean floor shit so I don't run aground. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna chill here. I'm gonna wait for this... If this... If he holds true to course and speed, then he should be long over me once I come up out of the layer. He can't hear me for shit right now. He's going 16 knots. There's no way in hell he could hear me, but... I just want to be in his baffles just to be sure. Alright, so... That other dude was having a pretty big fucking return on my sonar. If you saw that earlier on the conformal. Really showing up huge. Alright, 178. Uh, about here. I'm gonna have to, like, come up. It's getting really shallow there, man. Alright, around here. I'm gonna have to call it a day on the floor. Ocean fluor. It's getting really close. Alright, so he should be long gone, so let's just go up now. Why wait? I don't want to run the ground, risk it. Let's go to one zero zero meters. Because one, one seven eight is not go necessarily shallow, one, that's like 600 zero, feet. Zero Alright, this should be back on our high. sonar now. Yeah, yep, there he is. Right in front of us. Oh, uh, yes, but you can auto for yourself. Okay, so we dodged that bullet. Uh, let's go for another look. Nothing else to fucking do. <laughs> no, don't surface. That would be bad. Go to depth zero. Yeah, we got lots of freighter traffic. It looks like maybe that's why I was hearing them because they're not. Oh, there was a fishnaya right behind me. Yikes! Oh, it's starting to get a little late. It's starting to get a little dusky. Mass antennas, ESM, radio, be school. Alright, the TMA, uh, I guess it's right. What do we got for a bearing? 008. 
But yeah, I finished up installing my exhaust today. I'll probably get a video up soon on my other channel, Chasley0413. Yeah, the flange is kind of bent, so I had to freaking use zip tie. Uh, I'm, there's this whole other, that's this whole story I don't really want to get into. Oh, yeah. oh, are these like two oil tankers back to back? That mass looks kind of that no br bridge Zero, looks kind of big. Five. I don't know why it's taking me so long to figure out what that was called. Apparently, supposedly, there's, yep, there's a beach sniper behind me, but he's moving no pretty fast too. Back. I don't know what they're trying Zero. to do. They're not even Nine, pinging. Seven. What are they doing? Are they trying to scare me? Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Hello. Oh, a fly. I just saw a fly. Oh, no, I didn't want to zoom out. That's why it disappeared. I want to zoom in. Yep, there's that cargo carrier, car carrier, whatever it was. I don't know. I never remember what the names of these cargo ships are. I just know they're fucking cargo ships. <laughs> I never remember which one's the oiler or the super tanker or the cargo ship or the car carrier. Uh, I think that's every ship worth noting. Ugh. Yeah, I'm really tired. For some reason, like, whenever I have alcohol, I just, my body refuses to let me get any decent sleep. So, I'm kind of sleepy. <laughs> oh, what do we got? 222. Wow, right? Exactly 66% of 333. Interesting. Or two-thirds, I should say, rather. 66% is not precise. Lower all. Let's go back down to 58 meters, and then let's... I'm going to go to four knots. Meters. Let's go one third faster, shall we? Get there in 145. An hour is 60, 105, divided by 16. 105 divided by 10 is uh, 10. 105 divided by 20 is 5. So we're right around 7.5 minutes, 7.5 or 8 minutes to go. No biggie. Alright, I'm going to stop recording until then. Once I get the drop off point, I'll start recording again. So. Well, unless something else interesting happens, so I'll see you guys then. All right, I just remembered we have to actually classify this target for the special forces as a target on our TMA before we can actually like deploy them. So let's go to periscope depth. But I was also like when I was sitting here waiting for us to get to where we are right now, I was like, "Ooh, I should tell them." So last night. Well, well, recently I bought a crockpot because I'm trying to make a move towards like paleo type dyes. Not necessarily strictly paleo, but like all natural kind of thing. And if you don't know what paleo is, it means just eating like meat and vegetables, and that's like it. There really aren't any starches in paleo because the reasoning is like we couldn't really eat starches back in the day before agricultural agriculture came about because grains and wheat like that, like we didn't evolve eating those. Those are recent in the evolutionary history of human. And uh, wheat isn't really necessarily the greatest thing for you. It can it blocks absorption of nutrients and gluten seems to hurt a lot more people than we think, even if they don't have symptoms. But whatever. So I got the crock pot to make paleo and all natural type things, so I could eat like low carb meals and have it still taste good. So I made chili a while ago. That was bomb. But last night, feeling Fourth of July festive, I decided to go out to Giant or stop and shop depending on if you're from the northeast or not um, I got a five pound pork butt aka pork shoulder and I slow cooked that sucker with it's apple cider vinegar lost. for ten damn hours and oh my god did that shit ever fall apart this morning <laughs> I tried to take out the whole shoulder to pull it apart and like it just couldn't support its own weight that's how freaking tender it was oh my god I had to take it out in like 10 different pieces because it kept falling apart is that it right there but yeah so it, it I mixed I mixed up a sauce I made North Carolina style got some uh some brown sugar well took some of the drippings from the uh the crock pot two cups worth of uh cider vinegar and fat put some brown sugar some cayenne some red pepper and uh, Five, oh my god, it is amazing. But I don't think I seasoned my meat enough because it, it seems I'm, I'm wishing there was more salt. Because salt is a flavor enhancer. It just makes things taste more like what they taste like. It doesn't really make things taste salty. Alright, I gotta find what, what, what was the bearing on this thing? 291. 
There's no night vision in this damn kilo periscope. There it is. No contact bearing. Two, nine, one. All right. So what we have to do is we have to just take pictures, and since it's not moving, where the lines of bearing from us to the thing are, where they intersect, that's where the ship is. So I meant to say that earlier about the TMA. If you have a ship, if you're moving north and the ship is moving south, and you have like lines of bearing in the sonar on the TMA, let me show you. I'm, I'm like, oh, what did I just do? Never mind. Uh, F, F7. Okay, yeah, so like this. So the ship is going north to south, and we're going south to north. So where the lines intersect, that is the minimum distance the ship can be. Yeah, that's just the way it is. Uh, but yeah. So if you're going in the same direction as the ship, and the things are intersecting, then that's like the maximum distance the way it can be. So yeah, I don't know, that doesn't really mean too much right now, but I'm just going to speed it up a little bit more. Just so these lines of bearing are, it is not a ship, you fucking idiot. <laughs> so I'm just going to let it go for a little bit more so these two lines are really far apart so it's easy to see where they intersect. I'll just do all this kind of crazy zooming. Alright, so let's turn off the TMA, auto crew, the guy's a dumbass. MO7. Why is it a oh the ESM contact very good? There's no speed, no speed, none whatsoever. Mark. All right, so now we have two lines of bearing. So right where these suckers intercept is where our frickin' thing is. If it will drag. All right, uh, right there. I just I don't want the ESM. I just want where the two periscope things intersect, which is right here. And enter solution. So there's our sh oh. It is not a base. I can't change it to anything else, so whatever. Alright, so I'm just going to leave the auto, the TMA auto crew off or whatever, because it's going to fuck it up. So I'm just going to get inside here. We have to slow down to two knots to release the divers. Spec Ops team. Spets NAS, probably. I don't know if they do maritime things. Alright. Spec Ops deploy special forces. Right? Yes. Very good. Well, let's let's check out some background intel. Um, Steer congratulations on your escape from Vladivostok before rebels could capture your ship. Oh, thank you. Vladivostok and Petropavlovsk fell quickly to the rebellious traitors under their control. They got SSBNs, which are boomers, which are ballistic missile submarines. So you might hear me call them a boomer. That's what a boomer is. Location of some of these are unknown. Comet readiness is undetermined. Northern fleets, I don't know, from Hermansk. It's going to take them a while to get there. That's all on the other side of the freaking world, pretty much. Uh, da, 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 da. Trying to insert informants among them. That's what we're doing right now. Attempt to end this uprising. Americans have agreed to provide assistance to keep the rebels contained. They may have forces operating in the area, but have agreed to remain in international waters. Intelligence indicates that the Chinese are probably in the area. Chinese! Alright, let's launch these special forces. Doesn't Control, really take them. There you two. go. The special operating forces have departed the ship. Very good. They will go and fuck shit up or something. Where are they? There they are. Smile, bitches. You're on candid camera. <laughs> All right. What do we got around here? What's up with this cargo ship? I think that might be the oiler or the car carrier. I don't know. Something else out there. It's probably a cargo ship. So this is a new contact. Um, I'm expecting some Vishnayas. They might be off to the north. I'm actually not seeing them anywhere. Where the fuck did they go? I saw that dude. What up, bitch? Alright, yeah. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Mass antennas lower all. Alright, and now we gotta go all the way to this exit area, which is far as fuck away. But once we get out to deeper water, I'm gonna go into the layer and just like book it out of here, because that's ridiculous. That drops off really quickly, holy crap, look at that. Goes from like 150 feet to goddamn like 3,000. Alright, what's the ETA on that? Seven hours, speed up to five knots, please. Thank you very much. Set the revolutions for five knots. You can get on 28 meters. Go to depth. 
Zero, two, be fine. Eight meters depth control I. Not clicked on anything at the TB. Yeah, there's a little special forces boats kind of slow, ten knots. It's gonna take them a little while to get there. Not too long. Uh, maybe f two minutes. No, that's not right. <laughs> no. I don't know. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Holy crap! They're really fighting the waves. All right. I'm gonna speed up time, and then uh, once I get out to deeper water, I guess I'll go into the layer, and then we can like flank it up and have some fun maneuvering or something. So. See you guys in a little bit. Dude, the spec op dudes must be like drunk or something. They're just like chilling here. <laughs> they got pretty far up the beach though. But yeah, we're almost at our uh, our point of dropping off into the deep abyss. But yeah, going is slow. I don't know what's really around here. Dude, I think it's loud as hell. What the hell is that? Auto cruise, fuck yourself. Freighter. Alright, I think I don't think there's anyone around. I'm gonna just push it up to seven knots. Fuck it! You know? Oh, you knots. can go back on to auto crew. Whatever. Whatever. These missions are a big waste of time. So boring. Oh my god, that thing is right on top of me. Holy shit balls. Whoa. Seven knots really the cutoff for the conformal being able to do anything useful. I guess so. That kind of sucks. Dude, there's a ship close aboard right here. What is this thing? What is this? Newport. There's a cigarette out there, man. It's gotta be a cargo ship or something. Ugh, whatever. Let's just hurry up and get out here. Six, eight meters. Seven meters. Seven zero meters. Go to depth zero seven zero meters. Ooh, get a little close. I'm not getting that close. But yeah, I guess I'm getting hungry. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm getting hungry. I think I'm gonna have eggs over easy and pulled pork for dinner. Mm mm. Sounds fucking delicious. I haven't really had any carbs today. That's a lie. I had hummus and Asiago crackers. Oh, it's so tasty. Dude, these Asiago crackers are like fancy fucking cheeses, but they're goddamn delicious. And the hummus, all oh, so good. Hey, dude, I ate all the hummus, bro. I ate too much hummus. Yeah, I ate too much hummus last night. That and being drunk, that was a bad combination. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm going to go out here and get below what I think is the layer, and I'm going to drop another XBT probe, which is... The XBT probe figures out where the layer depth is, so once I get out there, I'll double check to make sure I'm beneath the layer, and then I'm going to go crazy. Flank speed it or something. Have some fun, pull some crazy maneuvers. We're almost at the point of diving down. Holy shit, that was kind of laggy. Uh, we don't really got anything close around, so fuck them all. Alright, we at the, we're at the marker, so let's go down to 160. Go to depth one. Six, we please are zero done. meters. Depth control I. Oh man, it's getting kind of dark outside. And this water is very clear in this video game, I tell you what. <laughs> Dude, I'm waiting for this abysmal drop off. I guess I'm not really going to see it that easily. It's kind of over a long way. They make it look more dramatic on the screen than it really is. Alright, let's go down to 180 meters. That should be good below the layer. Go to depth 180. Shoving on one of these meters. XPT probes. See what's good with that. XPT. Okay, yeah, that's, I think I looked at that before. That's all it says is XPT. Sound speed profile, SSP. Depth scale, 1500 meters. Why would it go to depth? No submarine can go to 1500 meters, man. Oh, very nice. Layer is still at 168, so we're good. So let's, uh, let's flank it up. Nothing on the sonar. Nothing on the sonar. Let's flank it up. Engines are head to flank. Stay Woo, flank. we're pulling. I think our max speed on the kilo at flank is 20 knots, not bad for an electric. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Alright, let's fucking fuck shit up. <laughs> Navigate. Right full rudder. Okay, we got these brackets. Left bracket, right bracket. Full right full rudder. Zero, nine, seven. Oh man, we're hauling. Dude, we are turning. We're turning, man. Go deeper, 200. But yeah, I don't know if they, they, they I don't think they have a model in this zero, game, but like... Zero. 
if you're doing a hard over like this, you gotta watch out because sometimes you can like roll too much, and if your if your submarine rolls too much, then the rudder starts acting more like a plane, a, a diving plane, than a rudder, and you can get into a snap roll, which means you just start going like, you just start diving like really fucking quickly. But I'm about to do a little 180 here. See if I can be able to compensate with a left full rudder. But yeah, we're just having some fun, just dicking around. <laughs> But yeah, if in later missions, once the torpedoes start flying, you're going to see me doing full more of this kind of left. crap. Steering guy. Okay, let's see if this full rudder left. I think I did it too soon. Oh, pause. What's the rudder amidships? Uh, apostrophe. Rudder center. Steering eye. Yes, full very good. I'm going to do a little more full rudder Steering right. Eye. I get that rudder over pretty damn quickly, man. All right, let's uh, full rudder left. Full rudder left. Steering guy. Eh, not bad. I'm not used to really manually. Oh, I gotta do this full rudder right and full rudder left stuff with these keys more often, man. It's gonna make dodging torps so much more easy than frickin' trying to go through this and then wait for it to click it and then all that crap. Uh, resume waypoint follow. Dude, we'll be there in no time, man. Oh, yeah, waypoint properties. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. You can change it based in here. That's awesome. And then I guess when you get to the wave, oh my god, you can change depth and speed. I never knew this. Oh my god. That's so cool. So you get to a waypoint, you can tell the change depth and speed. It's like in freaking Red October when they're <laughs> navigating Red Route 1. Oh my god, that's awesome. But yeah, we'll be there in no time, man. 19 minutes, so if I do a little bit of this. What is the maximum depth model for the kilo? <laughs> uh, kilo improved. No. Depth. Now that's displacement. Maximum depth model in the game 300 meters. Ugh. Yeah, it's starting to drop off. Let's do the 250 meters. I'm probably draining the shit out of my bats. Yeah, you gotta worry about batteries in this shit, man. That sucks. Thankfully, your mission should never be long enough for you actually to deplete your battery. Because otherwise, you have to go up to the surface and run the diesels. You don't have to surface, you can put the snorkel up, which breathes for the diesel engines, but it's loud as fuck. Very loud. Those are hatches. DSRV can probably hook up with those. The freaking periscope tubes. And the sail bridge. Sail bridge is fun. We'll probably get to that at one point. <laughs> I might get fed up with a helicopter that's flying around and get up on the sail bridge. You'll see why I would get up on the sail bridge in that situation. So that'll probably be at a later mission. But dude, I didn't know that waypoint crap. You can change depth and speed. That's so fucking awesome. That's so cool. I gotta do that, man. That's awesome. But yeah, so thanks for watching this, guys. Sorry these missions were kind of boring. Just wanted to get them out of the way. So in the next mission, hopefully we'll have some uh, some better stuff to do. Some more exciting stuff. But yeah, uh, I'm going to emergency blow for the fuck of it. Mission's complete. Let's emergency blow. Emergency blow. Uh, use, uh, so we have our pressurized air. Where is it? Pressurized air. Right here. High pressure air. We use this to launch torpedoes, and we use this to emergency blow. So... Emergency blow. <laughs> emergency procedures. Surface the ship. And then, uh, so the emergency blow used the high pressure air to pump it into the ballast tanks, force all the water out, and make us extremely buoyant. So, uh, we'll be flying to the surface. Oh, we're only going 25 knots, 26 knots. Dude, this sea wolf can get up to like 37 knots, like flanking it, just normally. When you fucking emergency blow, you get up to like 45 knots, man. It's fucking nuts. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead to one third here. Well, I don't want to miss the breach. The breach is the best part. I'm going to secure... Oh, God, don't miss the breach. Here we go, man. Douche! Yeah! That was fun. Alright, let's secure from emergency Seize blow. Emergency Use all our fucking high-pressure air. You can raise the snorkel and then... Raise the snorkel mass. You can uh, increase your high-pressure air really fucking quickly. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video as we sail off into the sunset. See you later, guys.